Greetings fellow adventurers, my name is Vitalia Hain and welcome to Goku Black vs the Reverse Flash Death Battle, of course, my reaction video. I am really excited for this one because I love Goku Black and <laughs> funny thing is I just recently had him uh, basically gifted to me in Fortnite. <laughs> So yeah, I've been certainly uh, Goku Blacking quite a lot recently, <laughs> so I'm very excited for this because I'm a big Dragon Ball fan. I cannot say I'm actually very knowledgeable on the side of DC stuff, so uh, the reverse Flash. I just, I have seen some of the Flash TV show, but not all of it, so I am really not too knowledgeable. Actually, on top of that, I never ever seen anything else. So that is the only single place where I know Reverse Flash from. And I mean, from what I've seen in the show, he was a cool and strong character. And I feel like a TV show with that kind of budget and stuff can never really express the true power of a character, considering the fact that he's a comic character and there's probably a lot of like over the top comics like the usual DC stuff, which makes me very interested to see exactly about that because i'm pretty sure in the death battle there's gonna be a lot of comic stuff so let us go and begin but yeah goku black i know pretty much everything about him so <laughs> ah. 2021 is Adam and Eve's but it is going to like refresh my memory at least a little bit because it has been a long time since i have seen dragon ball super but still i'm pretty sure i remember everything though we're still going to watch you like what the show no huh, also i do not care about an ad because i get no money from this for, i mean for this myself anyway <laughs> oh here we go death battle goku black uh you know what there's something about him that i don't know like with the normal goku i love he's probably like my third Fourth, no, my fourth most favorite character in Dragon Ball, the first one being Vegito. The rest I will not disclose, but yeah. But I feel like Goku Black might be my fifth, like in terms of looks, specifically and attitude, not exactly on the on his motives. Body stealing arbiter of divine justice and the reverse flash. Uh, that was a good name. Psychopathic speedster fanboy. They say <laughs> imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Oh, that is. Oh, I did not even realize like what in the world these two would even have in common to actually be matched. But I see, yeah, I mean, they both basically, yeah, imitate their uh, the rival. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. And I'd say the sincerest form of flattery is not trying to kill your superhero husband. And they try to kill them. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Oh yeah, wait, that, they just show and something like, wait a second, wait a second. Weapons. Yeah, this, <laughs> there was a meme. I, I've seen a meme about that, like with that show, cartoon thingy, whatever it is, movie, I don't even know. The, uh, where the reverse, the, the reverse flash goes like, it was me, Barry. You'd know that one time when you were, I mean, you, I don't remember how it goes. Oh, uh, wait a second. This, remember when you this is what I meant. Your first girlfriend. And you came right as she touched your leg. <laughs> it was me, Barry. I jerked you off at super speed, so it seemed like you nutted at just a woman's touch. That's the one. That that's the one I meant. Okay, back to the video. Let's continue. Armor and skills to find out who would win a but yeah, death battle. <laughs> that. Oh, it's going to be pixelated thingy. What consumes the thoughts of a god? What do immortals dream of with all the time in the world? In Zamasu's case, his one goal was divine justice. Yeah, this divine justice. Got major Final Fantasy big bad energy all over. <laughs> As the assistant to Universe 10 Supreme Kai, Zamasu prized above all else cosmic order and natural beauty. Oh, that reminds me. Did you know I can burp and fart at the same time? Oh yes, very relevant to the plot, of course. But I wanted to say, in when it comes to like his motives and everything, I feel like he makes a pretty good villain. I feel like the Goku Black thing, uh, I mean, the whole Zamasu arc thing was probably one of my favorite super ones. In I mean, If you think about it, compared to like something like just the Tournament of Power where you just mash a lot of universes together to fight each other, I like how there's more story and motive and stuff. Even though the Goku Black thing was kind of like short in a way, 
like it just happened just go fight that's it but we beat them in not exactly the most conventional sense but still we get to see vegeto for a bit that's fan service and whatnot i like the premises though as much as it felt like rushed and you know quickly just done with in the anime i, I do like the premises like a god that decided that you know what yeah the gods created beings that became stronger than gods at this point it's all just it's all messed up. We, we can never have true peace across the multiverse universe thing as long as these people will keep waging war upon each other and stuff. So yeah, let's just kill all mortals and that's it. The cosmos is now free of war and all of the all of that. Yeah, everything is good. Everything is perfect and exactly as the gods intended, a paradise. Here, let me try. <gasps> it was a good premise. Zamasu <laughs> despised the inherently chaotic nature of mortals, being seemingly unwilling to lift themselves out of their own cycle of violence and stupidity, like yeah, some that. people I know. Yeah, I know those people too. His heart was clouded. <laughs> Until the day he met Son Goku. With God Key, Goku could match blows with the God of Destruction, Beerus. Their clash nearly destroyed the entirety of Universe 7. Yeah, just simply them fighting, not even trying to destroy the universe. A cosmological structure at least nine times larger than our own universe. At most, it could even be as large as 13 times greater than ours. Uh, side note, it's worth mentioning that when two gods of destruction fought, they were capable of casually destroying two of these universes. It yeah. <laughs> Uh, energy of destruction is pretty strong in Dragon Ball. And since the shock waves from their punches traveled across Universe 7 in seconds, they'd have to be hitting way faster than light. Goku was tapping into his Super Saiyan God form for this, though clearly not at its full strength. While the exact multiplier for Super Saiyan Blue is unknown, Toriyama himself has directly compared it to the original Super Saiyan form. And don't forget, Goku trained with Whis and fought in the tournament with Universe 6 before Zamasu caught up with him. So by that time, he was way stronger here was a mortal yeah. with the powers of God. okay i <laughs> i do not even have much to say about this especially because of the fact because of the fact that i know like in most of the other dead battles that i've like seen so far did i even see how many did i see two or something actually like on the channel i keep like you know reacting to things but in this one, I just know them already, so I, <laughs> I kind of just keep listening, and that's Gods all. Gods beyond even Zamasu's abilities. Someone who could bring his dreams to fruition. But that's the thing. In a way, it, in a way, he also has a point. The fact that these, like these mortals, manage to become stronger than gods, that surely shows that they are quite dangerous, indeed. Yes. And the fact that no matter how old every universe became, there was never an end to chaos and war. No, Zammy did what I'm not saying that he's right though, that his cause was right. Anyone would do in that situation. Kill his master to become the Supreme Kai, wish on the Super Dragon Balls to switch bodies with Goku, and kill every single mortal in the universe. Yeah, that's a, that's the a weird thing though. He really wanted to do it himself or something, like kill every single one of them himself or something, because he could have just asked the Super, like the, the super Dragon, to just kill all the mortals and that's it he could have just simply asked for that but no he did not just ask for that he specifically wanted to become goku then to steal his body and then kill all of them himself that was weird but still maybe that's the whole thing maybe he just uh, i see a lot of people uh, you know talking about that about how he could have just used the dragon and why he why did he not do it maybe he just simply wanted to do it with his own hand you know he wanted to, maybe that's it, that's all maybe. And thus the deity Zamasu became Goku Black. Yep, and that's how, <laughs> there's a part in the, in the Dragon Ball Super dub, in the English dub, where Trunks uh, tells the humans when like uh, the real Goku appears, he says, don't shoot, he's not, he, this man is not black. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe, that's not even a bridge, that's actually really the Dragon Ball dub. <laughs> Please, Goku Black, oh, the dub. be more creative? No, you might be wondering, <laughs> why didn't he just wish all the mortals dead? But that would... That's what I just said, and a lot of people say actually. It'd be as fun, would it? Black's got all of Goku's strength and powers, but wielded by a genocidal maniac and... Also, his transformation, I love it. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. And in keeping with Goku's Saiyan heritage and godly key, Black can easily achieve the form of Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Actually, that's the thing. 
he took off his body, but his soul is that of a Kai, of a Supreme Kai of all things. So that's why he could just use a form that's basically as strong as Super Saiyan Blue. I love, I love that they call it Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, instead of just saying Super Saiyan Blue. Like, and Godly Key, Black can easily achieve the form of Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Yeah, that, just call it Super Saiyan Blue. <laughs> Why do you have to go like all this way around? <laughs> I know that's ori like originally how it's actually called, Super Saiyan Blue, I mean Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, but damn, that's a mouthful. With a champagneful twist. <laughs> Rosé. <laughs> that does sound like an alcoholic beverage Super name. Super Saiyan Rosé. Actually, it just sounds French to me. Rosé? Really? What is he, a suburban wine mom? Isn't Rosé basically pink in French or something? Watch out before he unlocks <laughs> Super Saiyan! <laughs> but I love that form, though. <laughs> so many people are like, it's pink. It's, it's, just, it's just pink. But I love it. Live, it's pink love. with purple, though. He's it's not just Goku's pink. Techniques See? Too, like the instant transmission, where he focuses on a person's key signature to teleport to their location. Okay, actually, in terms of look, I think I like Goku Black more than just Goku. He's even got the... Even though I like Super Saiyan Blue more than Super Saiyan Rosé. which is a Kamehameha. That's black. Pink. And with Actually, the same I mean, body. I mean, it's black yeah. in the ball. As you can see, the ball it's, which is, is black. A but the, but the, the ray is pink, yeah. Pink. <laughs> and with the Saiyan body, he gets stronger and stronger every time he almost dies. Like he every just Saiyan. harder and harder to kill. Which, which makes me really think, like, he got, be he got defeated early. Like, he just started his rampage and they beat him. What if he actually did not die? Like, I'm actually curious, like, basically the same thing as Cell. If he did not die and he kept getting stronger, it really makes me wonder what kind of forms he would have, like, unlocked since his entire, like, form thing is different than a normal Saiyan. I really wonder, what could have, what we could have gotten? Wait, isn't basically Dragon Ball Heroes having something like Super Saiyan 3 Rose or something? I think I've seen something like that in the past. And I remember it looked awesome, actually. So, really? yeah, maybe something like that. Sucks for the rest of the universe. Which makes me wonder how Super Saiyan Blue Three would. I mean, Super Saiyan Three Blue would have looked. That would have. Oh, that would look so awesome! Damn. Because Black is kind of like if Goku just snapped one day and used yeah. his powers yeah. to their full murderous potential. Like yeah, no God kidding. Split cut where he. I mean, not really. I feel like he's really. He's. As you just saw, like a moment ago, like Used this, his powers to their like full this. Murderous potential. The thing is that they are not doing that. At what the boomstick just said, they are not doing that. No, because if they use the powers at full potential, they would just destroy the planet altogether in one like one single attack. Maybe the whole universe. But that's the thing. Goku Black and Zamasu would try to not destroy the planets, just destroy the mortals on the planets. They want to preserve the cosmos as it is only get it rid of all the mortals that's the thing like the god split cut where he surrounds his hands with a keyblade to slice you to ribbons and that's 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 one of my favorite things the and that's one like vegeto got it as well during that arc the whole thing where they make a blade out of energy key whatever you want to call it i'm gonna call it energy i think it's the best thing ever he used this very technique to yeah this this uh, this kill goku's family he can even extend that, this yeah. key blade yeah. into a huge <laughs> curved one called the goku azure snap. dragon sword which along with his kamehameha confirms my suspicions that goku is colorblind <laughs> colorblind oh even if his attacks are cooler than goku's because most of the time goku just does the same thing which is the kamehameha and martial arts but in terms of actual, like, energy attacks, Goku Black really has a lot more things, and I love that. Actually, Black's Azure Dragon Sword is named after a legendary weapon wielded by one of Earth's greatest warriors. There's the no Desert way. Bandit Yamcha. There is no way you want to tell me that they actually have, like, a similar name or the same name or any kind of same anything. There is no way. Wait, what? And he can make a... Si <laughs> yeah, wait, what? Exactly. Wait, then slice open space-time itself to create a bunch of shadow clones. Uh, Black, not... <laughs> His head looks like bubblegum there. Open space -time itself like, look, a bunch of yeah, look clothes. at that. Look, look at that hair. It looks like bubblegum there. Uh, black, not crater boy over here. But his most <laughs> dastardly weapon isn't a key technique at all. It's the time ring he got the time from his ring. dead master. Yeah. This ring allowed Black to travel through time and even escape into Future Trunks' alternate timeline, where he had free reign over the entire universe. And let him team up with his best bud, himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do bad Goku and company showed up to spoil the fun. But wait, isn't Zamasu in Goku's body? 
I mean, it's... They're just gonna say... What, what am I doing? Why am I pausing? They're just gonna say what it is. With the fact that, you know, the, uh, the Goku that came to defeat them is the one from another time, basically. The one from the past, which is kind of like a... I mean, the, the way time works in Dragon Ball is kind of weird, okay? It's kind of weird. How are there two Gokus? There's only one Goku in the multiverse, right? But Goku met Black before he met Zamasu, which it's a time thing. Black existed before <laughs> Zamasu came up with the idea. And then they killed Zamasu before he could do it anyway, but Goku Black was still around? What the hell is going on? Sure, it's a classic grandfather's paradox. The thing is, Black's time ring prev And that's the time that's the thing, yeah. It, like when Beerus destroyed uh, Zamasu in the past, he said that he would be erased from all times, because that's how destruction energy works it destroys them from all times but the thing is the time ring protects you from that so even though Beerus said and thought these ones would be dead as well because of what he did the time ring kept him st up still here prevents him from being affected by alterations to his yes, own that. personal timeline that. so killing him in the past doesn't change his future and vice versa he's almost impossible to kill because even if you do it at one point in time he still exists at another point in time and another and another and another and, and yeah. another <laughs> yeah another, oh god i hate time travel <laughs> like his crush i feel like most Goku, people do but Vegeta love it at the same Trunks. time Hell, even vegeto couldn't beat him he come on that is this is the thing that i hate the most about super I love, like, Vegeta's my favorite character altogether. He looks the best, in my opinion. The ring, I mean, the, the rings, I mean, the earrings. The earrings, the gloves, the suit, everything. I feel like it's the best design in Dragon Ball. And his attitude, the cocky, funny attitude. Again, my favorite in the whole Dragon Ball universe. But the thing is, they really, he was kind of just fan service more than anything in the, in the, in the super anime at that point. So the thing is that they really, they, they made him lose in such, um, an underwhelming way. He did not even like lose. It's just that like he defused. That's all. He defused back into Goku and Vegeta because he quote unquote used too much uh, too much power and drained the timer, which is nonsense because he, he was not even like fully going all out and stuff. Because if he was, he was not. He would not have just been like, you know messing around so much. <laughs> but the thing is, I feel like they really slandered his entire fusion because of that. And now nowadays. People are gonna have, like, whenever there's an argue about uh, Gogeta, uh, Gogeta versus Vegito, people are always just going to be like, oh, but Gogeta defuses so much faster now. He's he's basically useless. Everybody's gonna side with Go Gogeta because of that, even though the Supreme Kai himself said that the, the earrings yield, in the end, more power than the fusion dance as a fusion. That's what, in Z, the Elder Kai said when, Ve when Vegito first appeared. And they talked about it. So, I don't know why people still think that Gogeta would be stronger. The only single argument that remains valid at this point is just the fact that uh, Gogeta, uh, yeah, Gogeta probably lasts longer now because of this slander they did in Super with Vegito's timer. And that's all. Even merged with the universe to become one with everything. Like I said, major Final Fantasy villain vibes here. It took Zeno, the Omni King, the most powerful being in all of creation, to step in and erase that entire timeline just to stop Black's rampage. Yeah, even after Trunks' like, entire moment, yeah, so he was supposed to have a moment. He had the moment where he made this uh, Genki Dama thing, whatever, a spirit bomb, sword from everybody's energy, and, def and finally defeated Fuse Namasu. Even then, he did not die because he's immortal. He's indestructible, whatever you want to call it. He, what I forgot the term they used. Immortal, basically, anyway. So yeah, they had to use How Zeno to actually ironic. really destroy so him. His entire <laughs> calling was the eradication of all mortal life in the universe. And the entire and universe. he stole the strongest mortal's body to do it. But in the end, he was always doomed to fail. His quest for power meant nothing against a being that would always be stronger, no matter what he did or who he was. And the universe ended up being destroyed anyway. It's like yep. one big cosmic <laughs> joke with no one left to laugh. You've been running around making messes for too long, uh, and now I'm going to choke the life from you. Whenever he... Yeah, whenever we hear, like, Goku talking like like this, I feel like it's cool. I can't wait to watch you die. He always sounds so, you know, goofy in his normal self, but when, like this, I feel like this is cool. Just like whenever he becomes Super Saiyan 3 and his whole 
tone and attitude changes as well. I, guess, I think Super's in 4 as well, but I, I did not see GT in ages, so I, I don't remember. Mariel, but I think so. The Flash. Oh, the design for this one is one of the greatest heroes in history. In in Run, Barry. Run. Inspiration to many across time and space. And there's no better example than his number one fan from the 25th century, Eobard Thawne. Eobard Thawne, yeah. We <laughs> tackled a lot of stupid names for things in our years here at Death Battle. But I'm confident that Eobard is the dumbest f***ing first name <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. Come on, it's not that it's not that bad. Come on. Leo Bard was completely <laughs> obsessed with the Flash and dedicated his whole life to studying the Speed Force like a total nerd. Good luck to him, because there's no way he's figuring that shit out. But Thawne's life irrevocably changed the day he discovered a time capsule from the 21st century. Hit what By you did? some strange coincidence, it just so happened to contain Barry's costume. By experimenting on it, Thawne managed to replicate the Flash's powers, turning himself into a mirror of his idol. And that is how he got his powers? I had no idea. I literally, I did not know this. From the suit? What was a suit even doing there? What? You can bet he totally crapped himself when Barry Senpai showed up in the future and took him under his wing. Why does he look so goofy? <laughs> what is it this? It was a dream come Why does Barry look like that? Oh no, wait, this is him. This is your part? Oh, that's why he looks so goofy, right? Because it's actually your part in the Flash's suit. And he's overexcited, like the psycho that he probably, I mean, he definitely is. I'm true. Until Barry realized that Thawne had fabricated crimes in order to show up and save the day. Wow. Wow. He was never hero material after all, huh? Thawne promised to better himself before traveling to the past to prove his worth to his hero. To prove that they're bomb. What? They really wanted to accentuate exactly how crazy he is. I mean, just look at all the faces he keeps making. What is this? Thon was special. That's when Thon found out that Barry already had a best friend. This watch belonged to my father, Wally. I want you to have it. Oh. And a family. And a life without him. Oh, uh, did he go crazy because of that or something? He didn't matter. He wasn't special. He was just a nobody buried, tossed out in the trash and forgot about. Like my <laughs> Tinder dates do to me. If only. When <laughs> if only. <laughs> on visited the Flash Museum in Barry's time, he discovered the secret identity to Flash's greatest enemy that in his future had been lost to time. The one Barry was fated to kill in battle. Eobard Thawne. Again, the, just like, oh, it's also, that's another thing they have in common with the uh, Goku Black, that there's a lot of, like, time travel nonsense involved. Oh, that's also a thing. Yeah, this is all messy. <laughs> this is, it's all messy. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, ain't that a bitch? The shock drove. The show, the TV show oh, right there. Mad. If he couldn't be Flash's best friend, he'd be his greatest enemy. And I guess also ensure his own future death. He Wait, aka Professor Zoom? What? Isn't Zoom a whole different character than Yo Barton? Isn't it like... I forgot the name, but like... There was another guy from another universe that was Zoom. Or was that a TV show thing like only? But not actually the story of like the original comic story. We travel from the future to terrorize the Flash family in the past. Revenge in reverse. Once had plastic surgery to look like Barry? Whoa. Likes Barry Allen, Barry Allen, Barry Allen. Dislikes Barry Allen, Barry Allen, Barry Allen. <laughs> it's, it's all Barry Allen. He's obsessed. That's all I see. He'd become the reverse flash. He'd become. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> reverse flash. We're really setting. Why are they making him jerk off the air right there? The world on fire Why? With Why? These names today. Why? They are jerking me off, like, basically, I'm right hey, there. Huh, Why? Yeah. Why? Thawne Why? Thawne draws his powers from the negative speed force, which he generates with every step he takes, just like Barry does with the regular speed force. The negative speed force gives Thawne access to many of the Flash's powers, including his mind-bending super speed, enough to travel all across time and space in days. I don't really understand the concept of the negative speed force, because wasn't the speed force basically like, um primordial force of the universe or something of the sort something that existed before flash and something that was basically a component of the universe so how would there be a reverse one he can keep up 
like do you artificially made make something like that do you like replicate it or he basically did replicate Barry's powers like they said but did he create an artificial speed force basically by doing that with and surpass other speedsters like Barry and Wally who once ran fast enough to cross the universe faster than two gods who could teleport Wally Whoa. even beat himself in a race and Barry admitted Thawne was still faster than that wait just a second he beat himself he that what? doesn't even make sense. But unlike Barry and Wally, <laughs> Thawne applies his powers more catastrophically, using them to their full potential without any care for collateral. Oh, yes, because people like the Flash, basically all of these like strong heroes like the Flash, Spider-Man and whatnot, always have to hold back. Take, for instance, his ability to vibrate himself through solid objects. Objects like, say, vital organs. And if ah, he yes. did, he'd scramble their molecules, causing instant death. Thawne did just that to Barry's wife, Iris. And Barry... Iris was white in the comics? She was white in the comics? And blonde? The heck? Did not appreciate... Wow, the TV show really wasn't as accurate as I originally thought it was, huh? Thawne's vibrations are so powerful, he can even produce a counterforce that can reverse the destruction of the entire universe. Pretty crazy sounding, Whoa. but even B-tier speedsters like Jenny Ognats can do the same kind of thing. Speedsters are overpowered, huh? <laughs> Generally. And when Barry and Wally raced each other, they were tearing up the entire multiverse. Vaughn can create shockwaves with a snap, phase into your body and possess you, and even speak at such high speeds that you'll hear his words as though they were your own thoughts. And instead Whoa. of stealing your speed like other flashes, he can steal your time. Yeah, Thawne can yoink decades from your life and age you 80 years and in just instantly. a few seconds. Kinda oh, sounds like you're saying that. Close enough. <laughs> but Thawne's greatest ability is his unmatched skill at time travel. And he uses this expertise to be as petty and cruel as humanly possible. Whoa, Thawne that looks cool though. Dummy. He knew that if he went back in time to kill Barry before he got his powers, he'd erase himself from the time stream too. So instead, he'd just make Barry's life suck as hard as he could. But how does that even work? If you change things all together, do things still end up the same way despite of all the interference that you did in the first place? How does that Push work? Push him down some stairs. Red got his best friend from history. Kill his mom. He even Whoa. told Barry he'd go back in time and adopt him as his own son. Dude, what Whoa. the fuck? That's another yeah, big what? difference between Thawne and Barry. Whereas Barry only went back in time to save his mother's life, Thawne often went back in time to try to fix his own mediocre life. Wait, wasn't... Didn't Barry create something called Flashpoint? The world where he saved his mother and it was basically making him forget about his actual life or something? Like, he had to put it back together or become, you know, that ver that world's version of himself where he forgets the original events? Something of the sort. And he killed his more successful younger brother, his career rival at the Flash Museum, and every single boyfriend his crush had until there was no Whoa. one left but him. And when she still rejected him, he went back in time again and made her an invalid for the rest of her life. Whoa. Jesus Christ! This Whoa. guy's a monster! He but is! Wait, the Even worse than I thought. He looks so... Just, like, intelligent and, um... Uh, basically reliable and composed in the tv show it's so weird to see like how like maniacal he can actually be that's impossible grandpappy paradox or whatever if he went back in time to kill someone they'd be dead in the future which means which means which means, which means. you never know them and want to go back in time in the first place right whiz Maybe time is a construct with no legitimate unit of measurement other than the meager attempts man has made to understand the incomprehensible world around him. Uh, whoa, 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 that was deep all of a sudden. Uh, actually, Thawne was just inside the time stream when Barry initiated Flashpoint, which re Flashpoint! the universe while Thawne was technically disconnected from it. So Thawne essentially broke. Literally, figuratively, mentally, physically, temporally. Or maybe he just... So wait, the flashpoint in the comics was different than the TV show one as well? He hated Barry so much, it defied the laws of time itself! Whoa! Whoa. More specifically, <laughs> he became a living paradox, a being without a past or future, literally without continuity. Not only did this mean he'd be unaffected by changes to his past, it made him effectively immortal. 
I mean, if you think about it, that sounds Stabbed awesome. in the chest by evil Batman. Vapor that sounds. There's an evil Batman. I mean, there's a lot of ver dark versions of comic stuff anyway. But in all honesty, it the becoming a paradox sounds Rise awesome. By you don't have to worry about anybody messing with your like past or future, whatever, anything, anything. You're just you there, and that's it. Iris in some sweet, sweet payback. Wait, Iris is now. What? In this, wasn't she like blonde before? Black and you know black hair in the TV show now. Redhead? What? We're getting Doctor Manhattan by the Big Blue God Dung himself. Don was oh, always whoa. reborn, unable to stay dead. But more than anything, it made him immune from consequences. Unlike Barry, whose changes to time could destroy all of reality, Don could do whatever he wanted. He was impossible How does that to even stop. Work? With no reason to hold back. Wait. Took an entire Flash family simultaneously. Moved fast enough that Barry could not see him. Reversed the destruction of the universe. Tanked an infinite mass punch. Survived weeks with a bullet hole in his head. Could not be killed by Dr. Manhattan. Defeated Barry, Wally, Godspeed, and Paradox. He survived a hit from Barry while he had the entire speed force absorbed into him. And Whoa. even Wally's infinite mass punch, which has the mass of a white dwarf star. A white dwarf is essentially the remains of a star's ultra dense core, which has a mass of over two octillion tons. And he That's took a lot one of numbers of those right to there. The <laughs> and just took a nap. Man, he must really hate Barry if a sun to the face can't take him down. But he. Okay, I'm a. Uh... I'm a big Dragonfall, uh, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball nerd. I'm a, like I'm pretty like <laughs> pretty big on Dragon Ball. It's like one of my biggest things. But still, from what I'm seeing here, like I should have expected that you know a comic character would be crazy anyway, because that's usually how they are. They are just over the top crazy and nonsensical. So I think the Reverse Flash might actually win this one. Doesn't hate bear. It's just crazy. Like, he's a paradox. Like, how would the Flash even kill him? I mean, uh, how would Go Goku Black, I mean, even kill him? He's basically unkillable. All of his schemes, all of his machinations, all of his insane timeline shattering threats. All I mean, the only thing, I feel like I said I mean a lot. I My voice is very, like, my throat is very hoarse in this recording because uh, of how much. I, I, I recorded, like, a lot of Fortnite with uh, one of my friends these past few days and I mean like a lot entire hours and hours and hours and hours and hours my voice is a bit hoarse right now so yeah I keep saying I mean a lot because of starting up and feeling like my voice is dying my throat is killing me but yeah the thing is uh because of the time ring the Goku Black also is immune to the reverse flash going back in time and trying to erase him or stuff like that so it's not gonna be one of those situations. We're gonna have an actual direct fight, no matter how you look at it. All of it was because but I still it was feel the like only way he could think the reverse flash is kind of showing more with his hero. That's really sad. His costume says it all. He never intended to be the reverse flash. He wanted to be the kid flash. All Fawn ever really Aww. desired was to be by Barry's side. In the end, though, goody little two shoes Barry forgave him and then vibrated away his. Living paradox powers erasing him from existence. He, he him. did. And then can I save? You? But I can save you. I'm giving you what you took from me. Peace. Just kill him, huh? <laughs> and he, he just kills him. Vibrated <laughs> away his living paradox powers erasing him from existence. Though he can entirely. do that. Barry didn't kill Fawn. He reset his timeline, removing the one thing driving his hatred his relationship with Barry. Without that, Thon was a normal, happy Flash fan once again. It's comics, Wiz. He'll be back. And I when bet. he does, there'll be no running. He'll always be faster. He'll always catch you. And what time about this cartoon? is it's always on good. his side. Still think you Isn't this the Injustice video Even game series? Can't catch me. It was kind of goofy in that one. <laughs> All right, the All right are here set. we go. Run the data through oh yeah, wait, look. Dead battle, 10 years, woohoo! Uh, this, that, okay, no, wait, come, stop, there. Yeah, they both have basically shadowy figure with red glowing eyes as well. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. But first, let me tell you how I'm to I'm going with the, the, the reverse flash, flash, to be fair. Reverse the what now? This episode is sponsored <laughs> by... The with one of blue Chew. I don't care about coach. this. I don't care about this at all. 
A death battle! <laughs> Flash. It was Did what me, now? Barry. You're doing the thing, damn it. <laughs> Flash killed Quicksilver? Quicksilver? Isn't that the whole... What? <laughs> I mean, he would. Quicksilver is not Flash level at all. It was me, Barry. I was the one who... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> they stopped it. <laughs> oh, the bastards, the mad lads. There, here comes the big boy, Zamasu! With a cup of tea, of course, because we are classy and fancy and the Mortal Kais love tea. Sinners, prepare for divine justice! <laughs> it's so crazy to hear Zamasu sound like such a snob. <laughs> he's not, I mean, he is a snob, but he sounds like so... A righteous divine in the anime. It's so weird to hear him sound like this all of a sudden. <laughs> but I mean, the normal one just sounds like Goku. So it's even weirder to hear him like this, this body. <laughs> yeah, the Goku one just. Well, whoa. The Goku one just looks. I mean, sounds like Goku. Sinners, prepare for divine justice. <laughs> I, you know, I would have expected people like them to fight to team up, if anything, not fight each other. <laughs> Yeah, why would he, like, why would he care that somebody came to and just destroyed everything, right? Unless he does. And I just misunderstood something about this story. Whoa, here they go. Goku Plantas don't have the speed. Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa. That, that whole thing he just did with that man, he did only for the sake of doing it. He did not need to do that. So maybe I, maybe I was right. Maybe... My first statement about why would he care about Goku Black just killing all these people all of a sudden? Maybe it made sense. <laughs> Here they go. A lot of key plans and speed. Which is, I guess, very to be expected. Okay. Is he really immortal though? Well, <laughs> okay, that okay was funny. <laughs> You know, if they actually went with the other Zamasu... Oh, Rosé! Isn't is that what you said in the anime? But I meant to say if they went with the other Zamasu instead of the Goku Black one, it would basically just be a stalemate. None of them could actually win. Because the other Zamasu is actually indestructible, like... Actually indestructible. He cannot be destroyed no matter what, no matter how strong somebody is. Only by, he can only be destroyed by being erased from, like, existence with an entire universe. Oh, the Kamehameha! Is it right to go back in time? That's, yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> that, that, yeah. <laughs> Mortal sinners! Prepare for Not gonna work. Oh, it's two of them. Wait, they can actually. What? That's a. Uh... Whoa! Why Wait, what are they actually. <laughs> they basically killed each other, though. They basically did. <laughs> Technically, the reverse flash killed the other one first, so. I feel like it's gonna be last as well. I, I, I just think Goku. I mean, uh, yeah, Goku Black is gonna lose. Here comes, yep, here comes the Shadow Clone Jutsu technique. Oh, all the way to space. Like, again? Oh, it was a fake one, I think, or something. I don't know. I'm confused at this point. But I love it. What are they doing? Why did he move a statue? Oh, that's why. <laughs> oh, poor Quicksilver. He cannot catch a break. He can catch a sword very well, though. Whoa, look at that. How truly foolish. Oh, I love that they, sometimes the animation changes like this. It's that important. Yeah, like it's so goofy. And <laughs> wow. Oh no, oh no, oh it's over, oh it's over, oh it's over. Oh, it's actually, it's actually over. 
He just destroyed this entire universe basically as well right now. KO! Can say didn't see that coming. Yeah, coming characters are broken as heck. <laughs> they are. And Goku Black wasn't even the, like, the strongest Dragon Ball threat anyway in the first place. <laughs> so kinda saw his downfall. Well um yeah, just destroy the time ring and then you can just kill him in the past even and that's it, basically. <laughs> he could have just done he could have just done that as well. After he actually took the time ring. Unless the one in the past has the time ring and that still doesn't work. I don't know. But anyway, it worked. It's he's dead. It's well, over. We've sent enough people to that sun. We really should have a timeshare. This was a fairly tricky matchup to figure out. At least it was. for their incredible levels of power. Black could destroy a universe like ours at least 660 times over. I mean, a punch at least as big as a star is really badass. But that's in another league. However, there was a lot more to cover than just how many stars or universes they could blow up. At their peak, both Goku Black and Reverse Flash were so impressive, they were removed from time itself, becoming yeah. living paradoxes, making any attempt to kill either of them meaningless. Stupid time travel. It's difficult mm -hmm. to determine who would figure out a counter to this temporal invincibility first, but it would most likely rely on a combination of speed and smarts. When it comes to smarts, the Reverse Flash has that. He's actually a smart man. He's actually smart. He's like a scientist, basically. Well, on the other hand, Zamasu is... He's a Supreme Kai. He's leaving probably... I mean, he's, he was a Supreme Kai in training, but still. He has seen a lot of the universe's secrets and whatnot and stuff, but he was still in training. He did not get to the level of knowledge and stuff of an actual Supreme Kai. And even then, we have seen a lot of Supreme Kais in Dragon Ball that actually are not even that smart in the first place. They don't even know many things that they should be knowing. So, it's not if they, their intelligence is not that impressive. As far as speed goes, it's no surprise Thon definitely had the edge. Yeah, Black's attacks could reach speeds quintillions of times faster than light, but Thon is a Flash. Even early in his career as a member of the Flash family, Wally West could reach speeds that were impossible to comprehend and calculate. There are numerous examples of this for multiple iterations of the Flash, many of whom Thon was clearly equal to. Plus, he's kind of an expert when it comes to timey-wimey bullshit, and yeah. he could likely overpower Black and destroy said time ring too. After all, Thon once oh. generated enough energy to counter the destruction of the entire DC universe, which is stated in comics to be at least 100 trillion light years in diameter. That's over 1 billion times larger than our own universe, Whoa. and over 70 million times larger than Dragon Ball's Universe Whoa. 7. It's sort of impossible to lock down the exact limits of Goku Black's upper strength without getting into lots of assumptions and guesswork. He's yeah. obviously stronger than Goku That's a lot was of when he clashed many people with do anyway. like even being super <laughs> Many with with and power Dragon Ball stuff. And multipliers. The gap here is way too wide to be able to just assume Goku Black could match this level of power. The DC universe is just too big. And remember, Barry and Wally's race almost ripped apart the entire DC multiverse. It's also important to stress that Goku Black is not Goku. Goku's drive and willpower can push through even the most absurd limits to potentially match higher levels of power. He was not even an actual upper class Saiyan, I mean, the, the normal Goku. So yeah, it is because of his will, his determination, his motivation, that he managed to keep getting so much stronger. Zamasu doesn't have that drive really. Zamasu took Goku's body because he's more than willing to take shortcuts. It's an it entirely is. different mindset. Yeah, and once he it took is. care of that time ring, Reverse Flash had a lot more options than <laughs> just <face>. overpowering <laughs> Black. With that super speed, he could pretty easily scramble Black's insides or Wait, did he show me the finger right there? Black. Did With he show me the finger speed, there? He, could... he did! I did not even get that the first time. I missed that entirely. He showed the pretty middle easily finger. scramble Black's <laughs> insides or age him to death with a touch. Zamasu may have been a deity even without the time ring, but Goku's body is mortal with a limited range of age. It's not even just that, but Zamasu is just not that impressive in the end, really. Might have really screwed yourself with that one, huh, Zam Zam? Goku Black was a nightmarish foe, but Thon's experience with time travel, ridiculous levels of hacks, that was and a frankly way to end it. speed gave him the means to take the win. This not his son part, but the other part, where he just dragged him. The winner and is ripped the his flag. everything, his the like, front of him part just off entirely. That's I hope you guys enjoyed up. that episode of Death Battle. Show oh, wait, is there something oh, at the end? Yeah. What the I heck is that? Video on the side. Oh, yeah.
coming. Oh, I mean, that's out already anyway. Not sure why I'm even watching that, because, it, again, it's basically out already anyway. Macho Man versus Kool-Aid. Wow, what a, what a matchup of the ages. Crazy. So, I enjoy this. I love these characters. Like, again, I don't know as much about... I mean, I did not know as much about the Reverse Flash. I feel like I certainly learned a lot this one, that battle. But I can say that they are some of my favorite villains anyway. And that's kind of just... That's all I have to say, really. <laughs> it was a convoluted battle, though, again, because of all of their techniques and feats and how crazy their scaling and everything is, their powers and a lot of the, a, a lot of insanity. But in the end, it was a great battle. So thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed watching this video, punch the like button with everything you have and have a great day or night. But for now, farewell and bye-bye. Uh,